Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. The switch is apparently not on a timer, so I can just go right over to the boss room right now. So, what does this game have in store for me? I believe there was bomb flowers here before to open up this floor, but I don't need them for this, obviously. What's in this chest? I don't know. Bombs. Oh, it's a good thing that I plopped the bomb on the hole before I uh, went down here, obviously. So, anything? Anything of interest to PK Gam here? No! So let's go! Oh, crap. Bricks have been shot. <laughs> All right, this is the largest the dong dongo in the dongo's cavern, and it is a pretty weak boss. You just have to throw a bomb in its mouth when its mouth is open like that, and when it rolls, just go next to the lava here, and it can't touch you at all. And that's pretty much the boss. <laughs> When it sucks in air like it was doing there, that's the, the time that you want to throw a bomb in its mouth. Uh, if you don't do it fast enough, it'll shoot fire at you. As you can see, it's powering up. and It's pretty easy to dodge its fire there, as you can see. Don't even worry about it. See, it's really, really easy to dodge its attacks. It's a really, really easy boss in general. And what you, Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going to say, are you going to... Come here a little bit faster, my Dodongo friend. Okay. Open up. Open up plots. Ah, oh, that's gonna hurt me. Yeah. And. Uh, I guess I can only get one hit at a time. Well, whatever. I believe it goes around like two corners and then it turns around to start spewing fire again. Or at least that's what I think its pattern is. That, that's what I remember, so that's what I go by. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I only got that one hidden again. Whoops. I accidentally got nicked by his claw. And that makes me sad. Oh, and I'm also touching the fire. <laughs> well, it's lava, but yeah. For some reason, it doesn't kill you instantly, which doesn't really make really all that much sense in video game or real life standards. But, uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter because it's dead anyway, and you probably shouldn't question the game logic. <laughs> Oh no, it's out of control! Someone take the wheel! No! Oh, well, that was kind of gruesome, actually. That was not kid friendly in the least. So, anyway, grab the heart container! Woohoo! Ah. Uh... Our life refill and an extra heart and exit the area oh so glowy so calming ah and we're outside Goron City for whatever reason ah! how did you get there so fast how did you why did you know I was here? I was transported here. Ow! Well, thank you. Oh, I'm a little bit dizzy now. Oh. Yes, it was, but you weren't in on any of it. Any of it! You didn't even help open the entrance to the place. Though I would appreciate if you were to give me uh, the Goron's Ruby. That would be pretty nice. I would appreciate that very much, thank you. <laughs> yes, I did, but it was kind of, you know, for that Goron Ruby that Ganondorf was after as well, so... No, never mind, never mind. But it is important to save the world, so I'm going to need this. Thank you. He was like, you're not wearing any pants! Don't pelvic trust me. Oh. 
Another thing for eBay later. Yes! After I get these and the Triforce, I will be rich. Yeah, I, I'm a little bit frightened what he means by that, actually. Great Fairy on top of Death Mountain? This I should do, actually. And that's probably what I'm going to be doing next. Let's see off our brother. Uh, uh, wait, am I their brother? Oh, I hope not. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh... -oh. uh what do you mean by hug? Uh, I need an adult! Oh god! Run, Link! Run! <laughs> okay, now what I'm actually gonna do is go back down this mountain real quick. There's, uh, there's no more Gorons. Well, I should say those three Gorons aren't there at all now for whatever reason. They just like vanished. Everyone's a freaking ninja in this game, I swear. And I'm gonna go down this path really quick just to get this out of the way. Over here, it... Wait, did I pass up the wall? The wall... Oh, I did pass up the wall somehow. Alright. This wall, you can blow it up. Behind it is this mysterious skull to law that somehow got behind there. Wait, can I get this one right now? Or will I need the freaking boomerang? Go away, go away. Please tell me I can get this now. Yeah! Ah, I have to come back for that later. All right, fine, fine. Well, you know it's there, so if you have the boomerang, go ahead and get it. <laughs> but otherwise, I'll, I'll make like two or three wrap-up parts of all the stuff that I'll have to go and backtrack and get like in all the dungeons later on just to speed things up. Like I'll just cut to all those things and whatnot. So that'll just make things a little bit faster. But I really, really want to go on top of the uh, uh, Death Mountain here. Um, over here you can blow up these boulders. Oh! That was one glitchy bomb there. I always threw it up to that boulder from down there because it's like just the right distance to do it. So that's why I've always done it like that, but it bounced off the wall somehow. Now these you have to time, so... Ow! Just throw it as it's about to explode, and the boulder should blow up like that. Ooh, red rupee. Not red ruby. Red rupee. Okay. <laughs> um, drop it. I believe there's a hole down here. Uh, I said I believe there's a hole down here. <laughs> and I believe there's also something very weird down here as well. Yep. For whatever reason, there's a cow down here, and I should not have gotten those rupees because I didn't get the wallet. Dang it! So yeah, you can come down here and get yourself as much milk as you want. So I guess this is a cave cow, so a different kind of cow. These are the kind of ca uh, cows that, you know, they eat dirt and the water that's underground. Not, they don't eat the soil. I mean, they don't eat the uh, um, grass that's above the ground. Anyway. So now, down this trail here, you're going to see a load of rocks falling on top of you. So whenever you see the shadow popping up, just pull out your Highland Shield there. Your Deku Shield will not survive this. Just be patient though, and only do a little at a time. And wait, see that? When that whenever there, there's a bigger shadow underneath you, you'll, whoa, 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 you'll be able to move. I mean, you'll be able to pull out your shield to guard yourself from the thing. And yeah. And I definitely want to go up here first to get an upgrade. So, I'm going to kill you guys off. Wait, 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 isn't there another one that always gets in my way? Yes, there's one that I can get right now. Awesome sauce. So, let's go up here. And scuttle over to the left here. Boink. I think I, I, think I have to shoot one more from this ledge here. If I'm not mistaken. No, I guess I get a shot from up there. I guess I always just remember shooting it from this ledge. That's why I remember doing it there. The pathway should be cleared. And I should be able to reach the summit of Death Mountain. Yeah, that's a pretty uh, ominous sounding name for a mountain, I have to say. Oh god, no. Don't make eye contact. And blow up this wall. <laughs> no, no, don't, don't make eye contact. Just look at the wall. Don't even look at him. Go through here. <laughs> 
Inside here is a great fairy's fountain. Whip out your ocarina. And play yourself a little tune here. You recognize that symbol, don't you? Alright. Let's get ourselves healed up. Uh, what? Freakiest fairy lady in the world! Oh my god! What an... Oh! And is she totally naked as well besides that ivy that's around her? Oh my god, she is... Oh goodness gracious, great balls of fish food. And where are those sparks coming from anyway? It doesn't... Oh... That is not pretty. And by the power of fairy juices, I get the spin attack! <laughs> and it's just like the normal spin attack where you hold the B button to do that spinny spin thing. But this time I got a, a way to charge it up and it'll also give me a magic meter as well, which I'll be able to upgrade later. And uh-oh, I see that I'm a little bit low on battery power. I hope I won't have to do post commentary or something like that if the battery goes out, but I hope that won't be the case, so pray for me here. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Anyway, so I gotta look for another fairy, which I'll actually be doing next somewhere along the line here. Actually, maybe I'll do it in this part. I'll just like cut ahead or something like that. It's back at Hyrule Castle. It's a thing called Din's Fire. Anyway, charge up your sword just by pulling it out and holding B until it turns blue or orangey yellow and you'll get a much larger ranged spin attack. Anyway, let's leave this freaky fairy fountain area and... Oh, isn't there gold skulltulas in there? Uh, I think there is but I don't think I'll be able to stay around here long enough. This is Death Mountain Crater. The thing is, in this area, is that you have... It's so hot in here that you have a limited time for... Oh, Gold Skulltula. <laughs> I guess I can get you. See that timer there? If you don't make it out in time, you'll obviously take some damage there. And Yeah. Um... I'll just do a little exploration in this area. If I if I do run out of time, I will... There's a hole there. What'll happen is that I'll just be transported back to the entrance, so it's like no big deal whatsoever. Mm, treasure chests. Please don't be rupees. That's bombs. Uh, is this a hive? Yeah, it is. Well, I don't hear any skulltulas in here. I bet you I need boomerangs to take care of the hives. I forgot, I totally forgot how to get rid of those hives up there in those corners. Okay, so now we're hot and steamy again. I'm just gonna plop that down there and go across this plank really quick to sort of multitask. This wall looks bombable here with that little cutoff in the graphics going on there. So let's see what's behind there real quick. There is Gossip Stone. I do not need your assistance in the slightest. Oh, that's a long way down. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure there's two gold skulltulas that I can get here. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose some health here. I should say I'm gonna get transported back to the start. But I'm, I'm just looking around here. Oh wait, does that auto kill me? Oh, I guess it does. Wow. I hope I get a reset in the time. Oh, okay, I do. Alright. Whew! <laughs> I, I thought it only took away one heart and made you plop back to the beginning there. No, I don't need you. Oh, man. I could have swore there was two Skulltulas in this area, but I don't think I have enough health to do this. See, the... The time that you get on that timer is based on how many heart containers you have. So, 
That, that's why I only have 40 seconds when I enter this area. So I'm, I'm gonna end up just leaving this area here for now and then coming back here later. All right, Kapora. Oh, it oh, looks like you are a brother from the great fairies, Panama. I just didn't you look like the hero of a safe rule, at least not yet. Why do I have this high-pitched accent and whatnot? Anyway, this is what I was talking about, that he could fly me to wherever I want him to fly me to. Just let him grab, I mean, just grab onto his shadow like that. Well, stand under his shadow, and he'll take you down the mountain. Now, you tell me. Give me a little logic here. Why can't he take me to the next destination that I'm supposed to go? Come on, any takers here. Anyway, it's a pretty cool view, I have to say, flying through the mountainside here. And it'll fly you on top of this house here, of which you don't want to jump down just yet. <laughs> I believe there's a guy... No, that's not the thing I'm looking for. Isn't there a thing that I can drop down on top of if I were to... Yeah, yeah, I'm back at Kakariko in case you didn't realize that. Okay, up here, there is a place that I would like to scuttle down and go inside this door. And you get a heart contain... well, heart piece inside with this cow. This cow was apparently guarding the heart piece. Well, anyway, now that I'm back at Kakariko Village, I think I'm going to end off the part here. So, I hope you enjoyed this part, and I'll see you in the next part when I fully charge my camera. <laughs>